I love Peter Max. He's an amazing artist who works with a lot of different bright, bright colors. You might recognize his work from the Beatles' Yellow Submarine, but he's also done incredible things for the World's Fair, uh, the World Cup, uh, all sorts of worldwide art that he's recognized for. He does very, very bright colors uh, that are poppy, and that's why he was one of the best pop artists around. Today we're going to be doing a Peter Max fish. We're going to be using watercolors to find one type of fish that we like, and we're going to stylize it and color it just like Peter Max does. You're going to need your Peter Max reference sheet, pencil, one of your two Sharpies, paint brushes, watercolors, your watercolor sheet, you can feel it for the tooth, a little bit bumpy, some water, and paper towels. First, look at your Peter Max reference sheet. You can see all the brilliant, bright fish that he likes to do. I'm going to have you choose any type of sea creature you want to do, either a fish or something else, an octopus, a nudibranch, an anemone, your choice. Then you're going to draw the outline of that shape onto your piece of paper. I want you to use pencil first and then make sure that it is large and very much spaced out. Now that I have my fish, I'm going to work on creating areas of space inside that I can watercolor. If you look at Peter Max's, you can see all sorts of different areas and patterns that he uses. I really like this broccoli floret pattern, so I think I might use that. If you're doing an octopus, you could do the tentacles and suction cups on them. If you're doing a nudibranch, you could do the different areas of color. Make sure that you separate space but leave large areas open so you can watercolor in. Now that I've done my pencil outline, it's time to fill in with Sharpie. I'm gonna go over my lines with either a thin or a wide Sharpie. You can choose which one. Okay, now I've got my outline. It's almost like a coloring book page. Really big areas to make my decisions of what colors I'm going to put in there. Go ahead, get your watercolors out, get your water, paper towels, and start to fill in the different areas. So I'm going to choose a color scheme. You can see that Peter Max has different color schemes, black and white and red and blue, green and pink and purple, and a, a little bit of blue and white, but that's pretty much that color scheme. You can see all the different color schemes. Try and choose your color scheme and add your colors in here. I'm going to go with a green and purple and black and maybe a touch of yellow in there. So I'll start with my yellow and I'm going to alternate spaces. So my yellow, I'm going to put into my fins. You can see how light it is. 
the more layers I do, the deeper the color will be. The less water I use, the deeper the color will be. Watercolors are additive, meaning they're adding layers on top of one another. You can add different colors or different tones and tints of the same color and get some really cool results. Now that I've got these yellows taken care of, it's time to move on to some different areas. I could do the body of the fish, and I'll do that a light green. I don't have a light green, so I'm gonna have to make one. A little bit of green, some water, clean my brush off so I don't get green into my yellow, and then I'm gonna get yellow into that area. I'm giving myself enough paint that I can do the whole body. Mix inside your palette. Now that I've got a color I like, I'm going to try and fill in the whole body. Great. Now I have my background of my body. I've got my start to my fins. I have to decide what am I going to do in all these different areas, including the background. You can't paint watercolors right next to wet areas. So I'm gonna look for an area that is not touching. I could do these fin parts next because they're not really touching any wet areas. That yellow has dried enough. I'm gonna go ahead and watercolor in all the rest of my areas and then I'll show you what the results are. Have fun. All right, I'm getting my final touches onto my fish now. You can see that I've got my background. It's a modeled two color between purples and blues, lots of little different brush strokes in there. I'm just getting the last little bits on there. I alternated my different colors so that they really stand out in areas. Uh, I left a couple of areas white, the teeth and the eye, but pretty much everything else has been filled in with color. We're all finished with our Peter Max fish. I think it turned out pretty good. Lots of bright colors. I had a lot of fun with the watercolors, so much so that I decided to do a second fish on the back. You can do all sorts of aquatic life in this style. Very simple line drawings and then filling in with watercolors just as we did.